Thank you, Jackie, and a pleasant good night to all listening to this broadcast. As we enter into the final week of the current iteration of the Emergency Powers Regulations, which expires on August 23rd, it is important, but it's not too late, to remind you and to educate you on one of the change in these regulations. In doing so, I will speak specifically to the issue of quarantine. Now we know that quarantine is a public health measure used to separate and restrict the movement of persons who may have been exposed to a communicable disease such as COVID-19 or travel from a country that is considered a hotspot for the virus to see if they will eventually become ill. The current emergency powers regulations require that all incoming passengers undergo a period of quarantine before they integrate into the community. Regulation 14.5 provides all arriving travelers who are fully vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus shall A, remain in a government-approved COVID-19 hotel or quarantine facility for a period of four days, or B, they may quarantine at a private residence certified by the National COVID-19 Task Force for a period of four days. With this option, no private security is necessary. Section 6 provides that all persons who are not fully vaccinated shall remain in quarantine for at least 14 days in a government-approved quarantine facility. Children under the age of 18 who are traveling with their fully vaccinated parents will be subject to the same quarantine time as their parents. Persons in quarantine shall only be released from quarantine upon receiving a negative RT-PCR test. Incoming travelers who wish to quarantine at home must first apply online at www.covid19.gov.kn and complete the pre-approved home quarantine application form and submit same. Representatives of the task force will visit and inspect the property, and then they will notify you whether or not your application was successful. Persons whose applications are approved will be sent formal notification along with the guidelines and conditions of their quarantine. It is important to note that any violation of the quarantine conditions will lead to criminal prosecution under the Quarantine Act which provides for fines up to $5,500 or six months in prison if convicted. There are similar, ex there are similar expectations for persons who have not traveled but are placed in quarantine because of their exposure to the virus through contact with someone who is positive. The same penalties will apply should you not honor the conditions of your quarantine. So in a nutshell, I'm simply saying quarantine is a very serious thing and that persons who are placed in quarantine are expected to comply with all the conditions of their quarantine, which mainly is just to remain at home and to avoid contact with persons who are also not in quarantine and to only integrate with the community after you would have been tested and your result returned negative. And this would be after day four or on day four of your quarantine. I will stop here for now and we'll await the discussion where I might reveal more. Thank you.